Hey guys. So I am probably going to do a series of videos today that are going to kind of tie into each other. I'm not sure how many videos that's going to be, but I will um, try to link them in the um, info below so that you know which ones are um, meant to be viewed kind of as a series together. Um, and the reason for this is because so much is shifting so quickly. So many are struggling with the energies at this time, which is um, not surprising to me. You know, if you think back to uh, December 21st, 2012, when we first went into Ascension, that was a very spiritual experience. All of a sudden you saw more people going, oh, I think I'll meditate. I, I'm going to um, you know, learn how to do Reiki. I'm going to learn how to play singing bowls um, and um, tuning forks and all kinds of other stuff, right? And tuning into all of these different um, energy modalities and healings. And suddenly people were more interested in receiving Reiki. So they were seeking, you know, practitioners out. That was more of a very uh, spiritually aligned experience. And then around October of 2017, we went into the root chakra and that became a very physicalized experience for our ascension process. And then of course, in um, December on the 21st of 2019, last year, uh, we shifted into the actual physical body ascension, which is what we're seeing now as everything is being deconstructed in order to rebuild it and make it what it needs to be in order to serve these higher timelines. Okay. So part of this is the influx of energies that we're seeing coming in. Now, if we go back to December, when we've started to um, experience high volumes of photonic light frequency, um, most people were just feeling, you know, a little more foggy, a little groggy, uh, wanting to sleep more. I know um, in 2014, 2015 for me, I was having more experiences with downtime, um, getting things that uh, mim mimicked a flu, but it wasn't a flu because a flu, FLU actually stands for frequency light upgrade. It feels like a flu in the body, but then it's literally gone within a day or two, right? So there's no real illness. It just, you need to lay down. Your body is going through massive upgrades. So I think one of the um, most important parts of this whole thing is that we were not taught in school um, anything about the body or anything about the capability of the body. We certainly weren't ta taught about the chakras, the meridians, the nadi points, and um, we weren't taught really about the electromagnetic field and how our field ties into Gaia's field. Um, so there was, there's a lot of stuff that we were not taught and have no understanding of. So of course, when we're having different situations occur within our physical body, we have a very difficult time navigating it. We also have a hard time comprehending it because our faith and trust has always been in the medical community. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but what it's done is it's taken our authority over ourselves out of our hands and put it in somebody else's hands or put it in the hands of a, a system, an infrastructure, a paradigm, right? The medical society, the medical community represents a paradigm in the third dimension. So we've kind of given our power away or our authority away to doctors as doctors knowing best, okay? And so something else that has come to my attention in all of this um, over the last couple of days is, is something that's very, very significant in these energies. And then I wanna get into the energies in a minute, but I, I'm seeing a problem where people cannot identify what is anxiety and what is excitement within their body. And this is really interesting for me um, because so many people who are, uh, finding themselves in this state where they are suddenly their body is electrified, um, become afraid of it instead of just tuning into it or allowing themselves to be present for what is showing up, and then go into fear, 
And that fear then exacerbates what they're feeling um, because fear will always do that. It, it heightens everything. It heightens our sensitivity to whatever is taking place in our body. Okay. So I think it's very important to start to be present and be aware for what is transpiring within your body, within your emotional state of being, your mental state of being, um, because we, we've never been taught about, you know, managing our body, managing our emotional system. Okay. Not that I can remember anyway, and I don't think the kids today are being taught that at all. Um, so I think that that's important to have an awareness of. And the reason for that is because we have heightened states of gamma light frequency coming in right now. Gamma is very, um, electrical in nature, it feels like you're getting electrical stim. And, you know, I'm, I'm an energy worker. I've been working energy pretty much my whole life. I can remember when I was little, but mostly when I started my um, path in healing work back in 2005, I think, uh, right after I had cancer, that was the crisis that catapulted me forward. So, here I go into, you know, learning how to tune into the energy, which then just naturally activated my ability to turn into the solar frequencies and understand the different light frequencies that are coming in. So when we're laying in bed at night, gamma energy runs through our body and it feels like electrical stim. You'll mostly feel it running down your extremities, your, your arms and your legs. It will create heart palpitations. Um, and I know for me, I've, I've never had heart palpitations. I've never had anxiety. So when it started, I knew I wasn't having anxiety. I knew there was something else taking place. And so I just tuned in to understand that it was a frequency that was coming through. Now I'm so sensitive to it. I could feel when the frequency shifts in the solar system and that blast changes because I feel it immediately. I read the energy. So when gamma comes in, it stimulates or overstimulates our nervous system. Think about what's happening right now with our ascension process or the great awakening. We are coming into this last and final stage in December where all frequencies are amplified. So it feels like we're anxiety ridden on steroids. Meanwhile, it's not a real true anxiety. What it really is, is that our body is trying to adjust and tune the frequency of itself to the frequency of Gaia, to the frequency of the solar system, to the frequency of the universe, of all that is, where we need to be in order to be in alignment with our ascension process, okay? And so that's what's happening. So these light frequencies are coming in and gamma works the nervous system. It works the nervous system and it works the immune system. Some of you guys have heard me talk about this in prior videos. And, you know, I remember back years ago when I was mentoring um, with different teachers to help me understand and come into my awareness of everything that was taking place for me within my um, body, within my awareness, uh, tuning in, tuning up. And, you know, I'd be in their classes or doing one-on-one -on -one and they would go over the same information over and over again. And I'm like, really, do we have to talk about this again? Or are you really going to talk about this again? And what I came to understand is, is that it really reinforced for me the experience of uh, connecting to or understanding that particular energy. So that's why you're going to hear me talk about this over and over and over again in the next couple of videos, because more and more people are waking up, more and more people are just tuning in um, and they have no clue what is happening, right? I'm seeing, I'm seeing this like every single day. So we have this, this energy gamma that is coming through. It's when the light, the sun is very, very bright. It's super, super bright and it's very, very expanded. When you take a picture of it, it kind of like blows, not the rays, but the sun itself 
becomes oblong in, in its shape, right? The circle is not a circle, but it becomes oblong. Not the rays, because that's something different, okay? So we have gamma coming through, working the neurological system, amplifying, creating heart palpitations, um, creating insomnia, right? This is the reason for the insomnia. So, so those of you that are feeling insomnia, this is the reason. Now I'm going to just tell you that if you are medicating the insomnia and you are not feeling through it or allowing your body to naturally adjust it, your experience is going to be more difficult. Um, I know that, you know, for me, when I have bouts of insomnia, I do the work that I tell you guys um, or share with you guys in other videos about how I fall into sleep time. It works every time, even if I find myself with insomnia. So the process is this, when you are in bed and you're having difficulty, especially if you're having difficulty sleeping, you will want to do this work and make sure that you get into your sleep time, okay? Now, I will be talking about that in the next video when I talk about dreams, okay, and, and sleep in particular. But insomnia goes hand in hand with um, gamma light frequency, okay? Then we have another frequency of light called um, plasma light. And the plasma light frequency um, is very, very intensified. It's uh, really affecting us. I'm feeling it every single night. For me, I'm so sensitive to it that when the shift in the frequency in the cosmos happens, it feels like a, a plasma blast, like somebody shot me with a plasma gun and it just goes through my whole field and um, integrates in the energy. And sometimes it can really be intensified and, and uncomfortable, um, even for me, you know, and, and I'm doing this work uh, like a lifetime, right? So if I'm feeling it like that, I know you guys are feeling it and not really understanding it, but the plasma is the stomach gurgles um, because it's working through, it's, it's forcing all of the distortion to the outer field so that it can be cleared. Um, and then, you know, of course, the hot and the cold, right? When we go to cold, we're, we're, we're pulling inward and we're, um, we're cocooning because we're getting ready then to go into expansion. The expansion is the heat. So when we're contracted, we're cold, you can't get warm. You could put on 10 pairs of socks, 50 blankets, and you're still not going to get warm. And then there's the expansion, which is your body heating up and you're sweating and it feels like a hot flash and it's, it's not, it's, it's the expansion of your consciousness that's taking place, okay? So this is really important to have this awareness of this energy. And then of course there's photonic light, which all the light is living consciousness light, but photonic light does not like distortion. It does not like secrets. It does not like things hidden in the dark. So it forces it into the light. And what it's doing now is in a sense, if you, if you think about like, finding something that you don't like, finding out about something that you don't like, um, sh you know, shaking, right? Because you don't like it, you're so mad, right? That's kind of what photonic light does. It like shakes it right to the surface, brings it to the surface. And then the plasma comes in and sweeps it out of the system. Um, this, you know, all of the energy right now is very, very intensified. It's a, a very, um, magnetic in, in a sense, if you will, because uh, the magnetics on the earth have shifted so many times already. Um, so it's, it's magnified in its intensity incredibly, okay? So this is where you'll want to really pay attention to what's taking place within your body. And um, remember that right now we're, uh, we're all about revelation. We're, we're all about truth seeking and knowing and understanding what is true for us, right? So if you're in a situation, a living situation or something in your life that is not resonating with you, um, but you're staying just because, or you don't recognize that, you know, it's, it's an unhealthy situation, that would be something that needs to come to the light. And, you know, you may have um, experiences that are going to shake you loose from that false belief that everything is okay. 
That's how it works. Okay. So these energies are super duper intense right now. It is not going to stop. It's, it is clearing the old dense distortions of 3D. So in each moment, if you are, if you are doing something and it is repeatedly not benefiting you, I want you to really take a look at it and ask yourself, could this be considered something that is attached to the old third dimensional paradigm? Is this in the old 3D matrix, right? Is this so that this is not serving a purpose? Like, so when we're not wanting to feel our emotions, we may take something to help us sleep or something to numb us down, right? We don't want to do that anymore. We need to feel through it. Now, I'm not saying that if, you, if you're on a prescription medication or something like that, that you have to stop taking it. Please do not do that because the side effects from that could be so much worse, right? So if that's the case, do not stop. However, what I'm saying is, is I see many people out there that are taking supplements to sleep, that are taking supplements throughout the day to numb them. Um, and I'm going to tell you that you know, taking the taking a supplement, right, or or something to make you feel less so that you could be balanced during your day is going to make this far worse on you because you're not sitting with what is not right. It's like you there is something that is not right in your life and your head is turned the other way. You're not looking in your forward direction. You're looking someplace else in avoidance. We cannot be in avoidance anymore. This energy will not allow for that, okay? This is not my rule, and this is not, you know, what my belief is. This is a fact. We cannot look the other way anymore to anything that is in our life, okay? If we're not paying attention, it's going to hit us in a crisis in some way, shape, or form. It's going to shake us awake. It's going to come into our reality in a way that is going to be making us face our truth. Okay. So energetically, the energy not slowing down. I'm seeing it ramping up. As a matter of fact, stargates are shifting every single day. Um, new cosmic energies, new codes. The freedom code is amplified in our fields, pushing us to own our freedom, be autonomous, uh, be sovereign in all you do and stand in your power. Do not give your power away anymore. Nobody has power or authority over you. The patriarchal abuse of power is coming to an end. That's what this is all about. Okay. So tune into the next videos after this for more information. Um, I'm trying to keep them short because I know some of you like the shorter ones. And, um, and so I'm trying to do something a little different here for this series. All right. So keep tuned in and I will see you soon. Sending you lots of, lots of love and whatever you're doing, enjoy all of it. Be present in all of it. Show up for yourself in each moment. All right. Bye-bye.